Hello friends, welcome to Centum Academy. So as you know, uh, in this series we are discussing about calculation techniques and we have already discussed about finding out squares. So we discussed about finding out squares on base of number 100 and number 50. Uh, in this particular video, I am going to teach you how to uh, find out cubes of two digit numbers. And uh, uh, before starting this, uh, I would like you to remember cubes of uh, uh, unit, I mean single digit numbers. So that is from 1 to 10. So I am writing it here for your uh, uh, knowledge so it will be 1 cube is equal to 1 2 cube is equal to 8 3 cube is equal to 27 4 cube is equal to 64 5 cube would be equal to 125 6 cube would be equal to 216 7 cube is equal to 343 8 cube is equal to 512 9 cube is equal to 7 and 10 cube is equal to 1000. So these 10 cubes you should remember. Others I am gonna teach you for any two digit number you can find out the cube of that number with the methods which I am going to discuss over here. Till now uh, you might have uh, learnt it or you will see at many a places that generally to find out cubes people use uh, uh, the formula a plus b cube. So a plus b cube is nothing but a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. So in this particular method the problem is that suppose let's take 37 cube. So you assume this to be a to be 3 and b to be 7 uh, from here and if you start putting numbers it becomes really very uh, confusing. So I'm not gonna use this particular uh, method. In this particular uh, method I'm gonna teach you different terms different techniques which will help you in finding out cubes in much efficient manner and which will be better than this in terms of speed in terms of efficiency so in the technique i am going to discuss we divide number in four different classes so that classification is uh, of four types so first one is numbers starting with one starting with one so it means that numbers from 11 to 19 these would be the numbers starting with one then the second classification is numbers ending with one so it can be 21 31 because i have already taken 11 i am not putting it here 41 likewise till 91 third one is same numbers for that matter 33 44 uh, 55 and likewise and the fourth classification is different numbers so unit digit and tens digit does not match so number can be uh, for that matter 24 or 97 or 56 or something like this so there are four classification of numbers that i have made here and for each of dif dif this different classifications i will have different methods so though these two would be similar in nature there would be just a little bit of difference so in this particular video i want to discuss these two techniques the first two techniques numbers starting with one and number endings ending with one the other two techniques i will be discussing in uh, next video so i'm gonna start with numbers starting with one now and then i'm going to discuss this uh, with a little bit of difference in the technique. So we have numbers starting with 1. So let's take a number 12 and I have to find out 12 Q. Now please listen to me very carefully what's the technique. It's very very simple. So suppose I have number 12. I, I write the number at, as it is 1 and 2. And then I take this last digit. What is the last digit here? 12. So last digit in 12 would be 2. So uh, I take square of 2. So 2 square is 4. And I take cube of 2. So that is 8. What am I doing? I am writing the number as it is. I am taking the last digit here which is 2 and I am the next two digits would be square and cube of this number 2. Now thing is very very simple. What I need to do is leave the last digit and the first digit. 
what you have to do leave the last digit and the first digit so i'm leaving one and eight as it is now find out a double of these middle two numbers so four double of four is two times four is eight and two times two is four now we don't have to do anything write eight as it is add this four plus eight is twelve so what is the carryover one this carryover will go here so one plus two three three plus four is seven no carryover so one come as it is this is the cube of 12 i will again repeat i had 12 so i wrote 12 as it is the last digit is 2 so i take square of 2 as 4 then i take cube of 2 as 8 i leave first and the last digit the middle two digits i double it so double of 4 is 8 2 times 2 is 4 and then what i do i write this number 8 as it is i add 4 plus 8 so this gives me nothing but 12 so i will take only last digit one will become carryover so 4 plus 2 6 carryover 1 7 it gives me 7 here and 1 comes as it is hence the square here uh, sorry cube here is 1 7 2 8 now let me take another number so i take a number suppose i take a number 16 so if i have to find out 16 cube so i will write number as it is 1 6 square of 6 is 36 cube of 6 is 216 now what do i do here there is there are three digits here there are two digits so the thing is very very simple what i need to do is first of all i will always take last digit if if these two digits if these two numbers at the last are two digit number or uh, or a three digits number i will take only last digit here so what do i take I take 6 here and what about this uh, 21 so 21 will go he go out here as carryover so first let me find out the double of these numbers and then let me show you how I do it uh, what what I'll do here is I will find out the double of these numbers so this is 72 and double of this number is 12 so what I do I take 6 here and then I take 21 as carryover here. So when I add this, what comes out? So 1 plus 6, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, and 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 7, 12. So 12. Now from here, 12 carryover will go here. So this becomes 30. So from here, 3 carryover will go here. So see what I do. I take last digits from everywhere. This is 6, this is 9 this is 0 and 1 plus 3 is how much 4 so answer comes out to be how much 4096 i will again repeat it what i did is i wrote number as it is 16 i took square of 636 i took cube of 6 which is 216 now from here i have taken last digit 6 here and 21 goes as carry over to the next term so i have 36 double of 36 72 and this 21 as carry over when i add all these things it comes out to be 129 <clears throat> so out of 129 i take last digit 9 and that 12 goes to uh, goes as carry over to the other term so this gives me nothing but uh, 12 plus 12 uh, 24 plus 6 30 so i take last digit 0 here and 3 goes as carry over so 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so that gives me how much 4096 now let me go to numbers ending with 1 so numbers ending with 1 would be something like 21 cube let me take 21 cube now the method is almost same with with a little bit of difference so when i took 12 cube here what did i do i wrote 1 2 and then i took square of 2 and cube of 2 so i wrote from left to right here i will write from uh, right from left uh, right to left so I, I will write here i was writing 12 at the left end here i will write 21 at the right end and there i was taking last digit uh, square of last digit and cube of last digit here i will take square of first digit and cube of first digit the the thing is i will not take square of one if it was starting with one i was taking square and cube of the other number here it is ending with with one so i am taking square and cube of the number with which it is starting so i have to take basically 
whether it is starting with one or ending with one the one digit is at one whether at the end or at the start so the other digit i am taking square and cube of the other digit so i will write 21 at right and end here and i will take square of 2 as 4 and cube of 2 as 8 similarly here i will leave first and the last digit and i'll take a double of 2 and 4 so this gives me 4 and this gives me 8 and I will add this. So this gives me 1, this gives me 6, this gives me 12. So 1 is carryover. So I add here. So this gives me 9. So this answer here is 9 to 6 1. So I am again repeating it. The only difference from here is that here 12 was written as left uh, end. Here 21 I am writing at right end and then I am taking apart from 1 the number is 2. So I am taking square of 2 and cube of 2. Rest everything remains same. So let me take another number. Now let me take 51 cube. So if I take 51 cube, so I write 5 and 1 here. I take square of 5 which is 25 and cube of 5 which is 125. Then I double it. So this gives me 10. Then I uh, double this. This gives me 50. So I write last digit here 1 as it is. 5 plus 10 is 15. So 1 becomes carry over here. And this gives me 76. So 6 comes here and 7 becomes carry over here. And this gives me 132. So 51 cube would be equal to 132651. 1,32,651. This is the right answer. So I hope you understood these two methods. In next video, I will be teaching you the next two methods, which is the same numbers and the different numbers. So till the time you uh, take few numbers from yourself and try to uh, uh, practice these things so that you can become efficient in these uh, uh, techniques. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. So thank you so much for joining me and, and, and learning this particular uh, technique from uh, me and uh, uh, see you all in the next video. Thank you so much.